All right, hi again. Uh, I just wanted to be talking about some features that are coming possibly in the future. We've been doing some research and development for a new um, warp mesh tool. And uh, as you may know, the existing warp mesh tool has been around for a very long time, and it's got some problems. It only works in uh, in a um, certain aspect ratios and that sort of thing, and it only works with linear uh, warping. And some other problems like that. It's not very modern by any stretch of the imagination. So we've been doing a little R&D to uh, create a new warp mesh. And you can see we've had some progress here. Um, uh, this was our first test. And you can see that it is working. We've got a sort of a bicubic uh, interpolated cage uh, working here. And then we realized that this is really a little bit over, overly complicated for what we want. There's just so many points here. What we really want is just a single patch where you control the uh, the outside. Uh, so we switched from this bicubic, and uh, this is what we're working on today. We've got this uh, what's called a Coons patch, uh, which really only uh, concerns concerns itself with the boundary curves, and these internal uh, points are now. Um, not being used and we can eventually eliminate this cage once we actually once we've actually developed this into a feature there's still a lot of engineering that needs to take place but we've done the theoretical so far anyways so um as you can see the uh the boundary curves control the warping of the uh of the shape and that's about it that's just a feature we're working on um that's really about all I had to say about it for now. Just something to look forward to maybe in a future version. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.